Reaction video live from again. Le- not live. <laughs> you can do that. Not live. <laughs> I know it makes me confused. All right, tone it down a wee bit now. No more politics in this video. No, then no, no. if Game of Thrones is your politics, then a lot of it. Well, it's something. Like- okay, Screen Rant. Yeah, I've heard of them. Yeah, but Screen Rant. I don't really watch many of their. So I came across it. So these videos where he does pitch meetings, mm-hmm. and I showed you the Lion King, Lion King one. one was good. And I came across this one called Game of Thrones Season 8 Pitch Meeting from Screen Rant and I thought we gotta watch this. Is this seven minutes long? I mean this film no, reaction I, video no, will I think be it's like twenty minutes long. I think it's like two the two minutes at the end like him advertising okay. other shit. Okay. 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 We'll give it a go. I've seen the first thirty seconds. I haven't seen any of this. We've seen any of it, so yeah, we gotta watch. Oh, you have Game of Thrones Season 8 for me? Yes, sir, I do. And I really want this to be over, so can we speed this pitch meeting up, please? Oh, I mean, we literally just started. <laughs> well, I'm in a rush, so, you know, let's get cracking. I mean, okay. So anyway, the first two episodes are gonna be people kind of meeting and reuniting in Winterfell. You know, Arya's gonna sleep with Gendry. Oh, having seen her grow up on the show, that makes me extremely uncomfortable. Is she 18? That's certainly what people are gonna Google, but yes, yeah, she is. Yikes, okay. And then episode <laughs> three is gonna be when the Night King and his army are gonna arrive in Winterfell. Oh. Oh my god, the moment we've been building towards for eight seasons. Yeah, and so Bran reveals that the Night King wants him, because he's kind of like the memory of Westeros. Oh, why? Because that's his motivation. Well, okay then. So then the Dothraki <laughs> charge at the dead army, and they pretty much all get wiped out. Oh my god. Until a couple of episodes later when they kind of just multiply because I need more of them. Oh. Anyway, then the zombies <laughs> are going to charge at the good guys, and there's just like a wall of them. Oh wow, it sounds like World War Z. Exactly, yeah. It's going to be like watching World War Z, but with, you know, like five pairs of sunglasses on. What? So there are just tens of thousands of zombies and they're just swarming everybody. Wow, it's gonna be tough for the main characters to live through an attack like that. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. <laughs> barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, anytime a really important character gets swarmed, we're just gonna kinda cut away from them and then come back later to see that they're fine. Wait, so how do they survive? By being off screen for a little bit. I guess that makes sense. Oh, also, Bran is gonna warg into a crow. Oh, why does he do that? Unclear. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> anyway, eventually the Night King's gonna do that thing where he raises his arms and all the dead come back to life. Oh boy. Yeah, and Tyrion and a bunch of people are down in the crypt, so, you know, it gets scary. So they're fighting a guy that can raise the dead and they go hide in the crypts? I thought Tyrion was the smart one. He used to be, but now I need things to happen really fast, so that's all over. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so then Jon screams at a dragon for some reason. That's, that's cool, I guess. Maybe. And then Arya sneaks up on the Night King and stabs him, and you know, that's the end of winter. Oh, it's over? Yep, all done, so moving on. <laughs> wait, 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 that's just it? <laughs> yeah, that's it, so anyway. It's so true. This is kind of exactly how I felt watching it. See, now, we had an argument, but we were talking about that that episode, remember? Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that was amazing. See, looking back on that. I was so right. Yeah, you were. I was so fucking right. You were. Because I knew where else was going. I was like, that was, why why, why was that? I thought some, I thought, okay, I accepted it. I was like, maybe it's going to be better. You know what I mean? Like, so maybe I thought that episode was good. I I thought that was the lowest it was going to get. But it was going to get higher. Yeah. But that, looking back at it, that was probably the best episode. It, it was. It probably was the best episode, but for all the wrong reasons. Like, yeah, that's not. That's not saying much for season yeah. eight. Like, to be so fun. bad. <laughs> Sorry, he's fucking hilarious. This guy. Wait. But we've been building towards this for eight seasons. It's just done with a quick stab. It is. Yeah. So what was with the Night King's connection to Bran, or that weird symbol that kept popping up, or the fact that the White Walkers? Get- Listen, sir, I'm gonna need you to get all <laughs> the way off my back about winter. Okay, it's over. We gotta move on. <laughs> oh, I just feel a little empty inside. It feels like this could have been fleshed out. Well, there's no time. There's only a couple of episodes left. You can have more episodes if you want. I just don't see any other way other than rushing it. You could do it in more episodes. (laughs) Ah, damn this short final season. Ah. Okay. Anyway, so after the Battle of Winterfell... (laughs) That's what happened, didn't it? Yeah, apparently they were 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 like, we'll we'll give you more seasons. Like, nope. nope. Maybe they just wanted off it. What, because fucking Star Wars were calling? Disney were like, here. Disney, big bag of money. There you go. Everybody's partying, but Danny is just sitting alone, all isolated, looking pissed where there's Starbucks. Did you say Starbucks? <laughs> and in the next episode, she flies to King's Landing. But then Euron and the Iron Fleet snipe Rhaegal out of the sky with those scorpion things. What? How did Danny not know about the Iron Fleet being there? Well, Danny kind of forgot about the Iron Fleet and Euron's forces, but they certainly haven't forgotten her. She forgot? She forgot, you know, a lot of stuff on her mind. I mean, okay. And does she blow up the ships with her dragon? Oh, no. I mean, a dragon is no match for a bunch of scorpions. 
Cersei's. Oh, okay, yikes. And then Cersei ends up killing <laughs> Masande, you know, so Danny and Grey Worm are pissed. And does Danny remember who Cersei is? Of course she does. I don't know, I feel like I needed to ask. So then in the next episode, Danny just destroys all the scorpions in like a minute with her dragon. Wait, what? Yeah, I mean, a bunch of scorpions are no match for a dragon. <laughs> oh, exactly but you just said the opposite. <laughs> oh, well, I kind of forgot about that. Well, okay then, <laughs> yes. So yeah, now Cersei doesn't have any scorpions, but she does. That's exactly That's so what I said. Was, uh, I remember uh, thinking, I was like, I said me at the same point. He's like, hold on. So there's one of these things killed a whole dragon, and in the next episode, one dragon killed out of thirty of these things. I've ever gone. These are actually the worst. Fucking, uh, <laughs> this is the worst, worst army. Worst army ever. Have the Golden Company. Oh yeah, we built those guys up to be badasses. So what are they gonna do? Die immediately. Oh my god. And then Cersei <laughs> and everybody surrender, but Danny is mad now, so she's not satisfied. Oh, so she goes to kill Cersei? Exactly, but she starts with, uh, you know, everyone else. She does what? Yeah, she's mad now, so she burns women and children. Oh, that feels like quite the leap character-wise. Well, she's been killing people for years, you know, plus two of her dragons died, a couple of her friends, her nephew doesn't want to sleep with her. Yeah, but these are women and children. <laughs> Listen, I want her to be the bad guy, and I don't really have time Time to flesh out the justification. Would you like some time? You can have it. No. Ah, dang it. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so Grey Worm and the Unsullied start killing a bunch of people, and so do the Dothraki, who are now not dead. That's right. And Jamie's running around too, because after the Battle of Winterfell, he took off to see Cersei. Oh, was he going to kill her? Because that's a great way to wrap up his redemption arc. Oh no, he's going to be with her. Oh, he is. Yeah, he sleeps with Brienne, then leaves her crying, and takes off to go be with his sister again. Oh, it kind of seemed like we had a whole redemption thing going for like eight seasons. Oh yeah, we're gonna undo all that in like three scenes. He's even gonna be <laughs> like, I never said. cared about innocent people. Oh my god. And then he and Cersei both get taken out by falling bricks. I mean, okay. And <laughs> that was so true. Yeah, that was exactly what I said. I know it's really, really funny, but it's still pissing me off. <laughs> thinking is. about it. I put so much into this show. <laughs> just like... Sorry. <laughs> it just, just ruined everything. Like, who came out of this final season? Like, no. in a positive way? I know. It's so bad. At the end of the episode, Arya sees a white horse and rides off on it. Oh, cool. People are gonna have a lot of theories about that. Yeah, and so at the beginning of the next episode, she's walking around in the rubble and she sees- Wait, what happened to the horse? Oh, we'll see what happened with that was that- <laughs> Did you forget about the horse? I forgot about the horse, she forgot about the horse. It's a very forgettable horse. Okay. So anyway, then Tyrion's like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure I don't want to be the hand of the queen anymore. Because of the child murders? Because of the child murders, that's right. So he gets put in a cell. Yeah, I guess that's treason. Exactly. So now all the pressure's on Jon Snow, you know? What's he gonna do. Oh yeah, what has Jon Snow been up to this whole time? Oh well, I had a bunch of cool lines for him, but then I was messing around with the search and replace on my computer, and somehow all his lines changed to "She's our queen." Really, all of his lines? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I did go back and change a couple of them to "I don't want it," but other than that, yeah, pretty much. Well, okay then. So anyway, then Jon goes to see Danny in front of the Iron Throne, and he, you know, stabs and kills her. Oh my God, just like that? Yeah, I mean, there's no time to draw this out at all. But there could be. But there's not. So then Drogon <laughs> gets all pissed and burns the Iron Throne, then flies away with. Danny's corpse. Wait, did he understand that the power of the throne corrupted her, or did he just get mad at the one pointy thing in the room? I don't know. Fair enough. So anyway, then a couple <laughs> of weeks later, John's in jail. So he just walked out of the room and confessed to the murder? It certainly seems that this. way, so... I thought that. I, know. I said that. Like, I don't, I don't we, think no one's seen it. I no one's seen that thing, anything happen. They could have easily said she flew off somewhere. Yeah. Like, did he just go in and tell them, I murdered him? I know. Grey Worm really wants him and Tyrion to see justice for betraying Danny. Okay. So Tyrion and Grey Worm go in front of the Council of Surviving Characters, and Tyrion decides that Bran should be king. Wait, the guy that's on trial <laughs> decides that? Well, I mean, the Council votes, but Tyrion really does run the show, yeah. And why does he think Bran should be king? Because who has a better story than Bran? I mean, arguably any other character. <laughs> should John become Shoot. king since he's the rightful heir? No, he's gonna be sentenced to go hang out with his friends up north. So that whole Aegon Targaryen thing was basically for nothing? Pretty much. Same for that Arya faceless man thing too, actually. Oh, subverting expectations is tight. Well, I wouldn't say that it was about subverting expectations. It's more that I, how do I say oh, this, I uh, forgot about it. Oh, right. And so Sansa becomes the queen of Winterfell and Arya takes off to explore. To explore what? Well, she wants to find out what's west of Westeros. Can't Bran just tell her that? <laughs> Apparently <laughs> not. Plus so. he's gonna take off to go find Drogon. <laughs> oh, why? Because. Okay. And also now Bronn <laughs> is the master of coin. Isn't he the worst possible person for that job? Well, he threatened Tyrion, but also he really likes coins. I guess that's quite Qualifying. And so yeah, that's about it. Well, it sounds like a compilation of moments that can benefit from being spread over 20 episodes instead of six. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a good point, but keep in mind that I don't wanna. Right, sure seems that way. Besides, fans are automatically gonna love this. I mean, it's Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. So there's, oh. And there's so many things they left out that we, they can't about. Like, I know. The whole, like, Sansa says, 
the North will be independent. Yeah. And then I was everyone easy. was like, yeah, it's fine. Like, and then what? I was like, why isn't the girl from the Iron Islands not saying the Iron Islands are going to be she's independent a, too? She's a wee bit. She was just like, no, it's fine. Well, the, the Starks won everything. Is there anything from season eight that's actually good? Very little. Very little. Very little. There is, no, there isn't any. Big Ginger guy was funny. He a point was he and then he became just a comic relief even though he was a fucking badass guy yeah he became too much it was like it used him too much we get you want to buy bang Bree Brianna Jim Brianna's not yet come on son but like you know <laughs> Jimmy Lancer's in the way so I mean he wins yeah See you can back on it. good See? video the reaction to the video was good so that's positive we'll agree that that was a positive funny video but the show was so that fucking, was fucking so shit and you know what if pe- people do if some people do like Game of Thrones Eight, that's fine you know what I mean it is subjective if you get something out of it if, if someone comes and tells me they love the last season I'll go thank god someone got something yeah. out of it because I got nothing out of it yeah, I, will, yeah. I will probably question yeah. your taste in TV yeah. but <laughs> if, if people did like it fair enough at least somebody got something I'm not going to mention it. the end I I was, some like people it. told me oh I didn't mind last season I'm like this is why I don't take your opinion on any sort of movie yeah. I'm not mentioning well, names. Well, opinions are subjective, then. No, they're not. Sorry. That was our reaction to uh, Pitch Meeting from Screen Rant. Screen Rant. It's just a wee small channel, Screen Rant. Yeah, Maybe small. one day they'll be as big as us. Yeah, we're, we're now, now we're replaying that joke now. It doesn't really... Oh, yeah, yeah, but we'll do that every video, and then eventually people get bored of it. Yeah. What are you trying to say, like, repetitive jokes aren't funny? <laughs> <laughs> Telling the same joke over and over again isn't funny? Turns out not. Okay. Okay, then. That's uh, so. What do you think of? We need to we need to get a better ending. These we need to work out an ending because I don't know what the fuck to say. What do you think about season oh. eight of Game of Thrones? <laughs> Comment below yeah. and let us know. I don't know, like, and stay tuned for more. Pause like, on this. Pause on this. <laughs> no. Please no. like, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, comment, like, comment, subscribe, yeah. and there's a wee notification button. Yeah, press it. Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>